So the reason I wanted to work with you is because you always create a safe space where I feel like anything I say won't be judged. You have a way of getting, I don't know. I told you this about the podcast where you really have a way of being really quiet and yet somehow getting people to go further. Mm. And that's needed when I tend to avoid doing difficult things or digging deeper, then I find it's better to be with someone who um, can do that naturally without it feeling forced. Worries with the container is like a lot of times you know that you need to make changes in your life, but ignorance is bliss a bit because once you really figure that out and you know that there's something better for you, it means you actually have to do the work. And sometimes that can be daunting because change is scary and making an effort can be feel very exhausting mm. in your personal life, especially emotionally. I didn't have any hesitations working with you because mm. I've worked with you before. So I knew how, how you are and, and stuff. So I already felt comfortable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the emotional exhaustion piece, when we actually went into some of the emotional processes did you find it exhausting or sometimes more it's just like the the thought of the how daunting that could be oh yeah no it was just the thought of dauntingness once we were in it I found it energizing Mm. not exhausting it was the opposite Mm -mm. I love that I love that (laughs) realization you know it's like the our mind is like no 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 and then we get in and we're like oh this is actually quite nice (laughs) (laughs) and nourishing because that's always my intention right that we're doing deep emotional work but my intention is that it's slow gentle loving and nourishing so I love to hear that it was energizing for you oh one more thing as well is a big thing for me which is why I didn't like therapy that much or the therapy experience was you are action oriented Like you're not just about talking out problems. You're about like, let's do things that will help you find solutions in your life quickly. It's always hard to pick a favorite part. I think the visualizations are really good um, because it's very unique to you. Like, I don't think I could have that same experience with anyone else or on my own. Mm. So when you do the sort of like guided meditation type visualization experiences that yeah I think those are probably my favorite yeah like the lightness of and that's what I'm talking about when you go and thinking oh this emotional thing is going to be exhausting or whatever and then that was the result was mm-hmm. feeling like <laughs> you know just like is this how other people feel all the time because <laughs> this is so nice <laughs> sounds really big when you describe it and we talked about this before where you don't once you get there it feels so easy but mm-hmm. getting there like feels impossible and like this massive thing but it is like self-acceptance like the idea of being like I like myself the way I am period Mm -hmm. like full stop and then how it affects the rest of your life is like every aspect of your life like your relationship with other people your relationship with your body relationship with food and what you want to do yeah I'm just feeling very like today I am like you may want to improve but not feeling like so caught up in the improvement Mm-hmm. and rather just being like oh I like myself as I am but the parts of myself that want to grow I like that too mm-hmm. you know, as, as opposed to being critical yeah being like oh I have to grow because I hate myself and I think I'm the worst you know that I have to improve because of that but rather just like I like who I am and my own desire to be better mm-hmm. so yeah I think that was probably the biggest mm-hmm. but it's like it's huge so seems weird to summarize that sometimes when you present an idea or an activity or something and I'm a bit in my mind like that's a bit woo or like too much for me or I really doubt that would work and then it does really quickly um yeah the whole like leaning into like the sort of just like first thought that pops into your head kind of thing and going with it as opposed to resisting and trying to work logically as opposed to emotionally and in your body so I find that was the most surprising was because when you would describe things because for example with meditation people talk about it and you try it it usually doesn't work 
like you have to try it. It's like a muscle. You have to do it a lot for it to make progress. But I found with you, the surprising part was some of the things you introduced worked right away. It didn't feel like I had to do it 20 times for mm. me to feel it. Mm-hmm. Like what specifically? Like the inner Yeah, like with the visualizations, the, yeah. some of the inner child's work, um, the mirror work. Like I had to do it twice, but it was twice. Like two times is nothing, you know what I mean? As opposed to yeah. meditation. Even now I still struggle like actually meditating correctly, but, uh, or being able to do it for a period of time. A lot of the breath work as well. Or even like when you were like, gave the idea of like passing something to reduce mm-hmm. anxiety and it worked mm-hmm. like the first time I tried it, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's, yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And who would you recommend me to is the last question. Like, does anyone come to mind? Everyone and I know. (laughs) (laughs) That's the best answer I've ever got. (laughs) (laughs) No, literally everyone I talk to, they're like talking about their life and I'm like, you should work with my cousin of (laughs) that oh god it's like when you leave a tony robbins conference and you're just like tony robbins this tony robbins that oh my god yes it was like kansas city because all my girlfriends you know they're like going through it and i'm like you need to work with amanda you need to work with <laughs> and my mom everyone 